So to, today we're going to chat a little bit about the SharePoint Brand Center and all of the latest updates that have come into the SharePoint Brand Center and then the latest set of updates for site branding which are coming into your tenants now. So we'll start out just quickly run through the Brand Center. The Brand Center has moved into GA. It is now 100% fully GA. Uh, again, a quick reminder for the SharePoint Brand Center, this does require an initial uh, tenant admin set up to enable the brand center and then once you have that you go into the SharePoint site that has been designated as the brand center. Uh, many different ways that that can happen. There's kind of three different scenarios that the admin will get walked through to pick depending on how your tenant is set up. Once you have that site owners of the particular site will become a uh, act, become able to access the brand center. So you'll be able to enter that directly with a URL or by going to the settings gear and then navigating to the brand center. In the brand center, as it moved into GA, uh, and it's always a fun demo guide happening thing where it just doesn't always load up because uh, my computer goes, oh, you want a screen share? Uh, but when you load up the brand center, what you'll notice is you have uh, brand fonts and then you'll have a new section for colors. And then as a part of SharePoint and Viva Connections, you have our existing font packages that we released earlier this year. And then now we've added the ability for themes here. So just to highlight the quick changes here into the brand center, We've added more support across SharePoint web parts for custom fonts, and then we've introduced brand colors and the themes. So when you come in, you'll be able to set up your reusable set of colors. So for your organization, maybe you have a set of colors that are standardized and you can enter those and create that list. And then when you're coming in and you're creating your themes, uh, you are able to pick from those colors. So any colors that's a part of that library library or you can create a custom color just for that theme. So you could go through and pick any of those colors that you set up and, and go through and create your themes really quickly here. And so as you go through, you can easily create pick. We're just gonna go through. And so it gives us that accessibility checker here to check our color contrast, which is always something we're paying attention to. And then we can go ahead and, and when we get to this section, we can actually preview it on SharePoint so we can see what that new theme will look like, what it changes in our SharePoint sites, and also for Viva Connections. We can simply name it here, and then once we name it, it will then appear into the SharePoint Brand Center here, which then makes it available in Change the Look in our sites. So very similarly with font packages, you're setting those up, creating those from the fonts that you've uploaded into the Brand Center app, and then making them available for your organization through Change the Look. Make making it easy for site owners to be able to pick from that official branding that you've created and set up. So the next big piece of this is taking it a little bit further. So we come in here and first we're going to go in and we're going to look at change the look just to see where those brand items that we set up before. So there's those two that I have set up and made available. These are currently visible in the Brand Center app. So that's why only two of the three show up. One of them is not visible. And you can see that Rella Cloud teal and that say sales green being available. But you may notice a new section here, uh, this new section of from this site. So with that, let's talk about what this is. So we are introducing a site branding concept, which will mean that you will be able to create themes and font packages for your individual sites. So site owners will have access to this and you'll be able to come in when you come into this experience, you'll see uh, site branding showing up. You'll see themes and font packages. Font packages, a quick note, will be available only if your organization has set up the brand center and uploaded custom fonts. A site owner is not able to upload their own font to be utilized as a font package. They're only going to be able to use fonts that are available through the brand center. 
why did we make this decision? Fonts can are code, right? And so they can contain malicious items. So we are restricting who can upload and manage those fonts that will be available to the brand center. But once you have up fonts uploaded, you will be able to do this. Also to note, this does not change how hubs and hub branding works. So in a site associated to a hub, the branding is inherited from that hub. So at that hub root level, the, the main site that is designated as a hub, you would still be able to go in and create a theme and a font package and apply it. But at the associated site level, you would not be able to do that and create a theme and apply it to your site. So in here, you'll see that. So let's go through quickly and create a new theme. So we'll come in and again, you see that same theme creation experience you saw in the Brand Center where I have that official color list. So if I wanted to create just a different theme from a new color that maybe is not available, but maybe I want to create my own and I want to have it really be customized. Uh, the ho holidays are coming up, so maybe we want to do a little bit more of kind of a, a fall theme here so we can go through and, and pick in a little bit more of a, a fall leaf color, you know, and, and have this come through and we could go in and say, hey, I want this to be true black. I want my text to be true black so we could go in and create that. We could even go in and create that background color, right? So maybe it's, like I said, fall coming up. Maybe I want kind of a, a little bit of a yellow tent. Go through and set that up. Oh my goodness, but look what happened. When I was doing that, it's now told me that there are accessibility issues here. So I will want to go ahead and resolve that. So as I'm creating it, it's just paying attention to what it is. It's giving me that warning so I can come in and I can then edit that further to make this work a little bit better for me. So I can come in and pick a, a lighter color of that uh, yellow to make that background, right? So I can just go in and adjust this. And once I do that, it's going to resolve that accessibility issue. We have the dark theme here. So if you were to make that background color a dark color, say have it be black or a very dark color and your text color to be white, you're going to designate that as a dark theme by using this toggle here, which will help the system understand where to automatically change font colors. And then you'll be able to pick an accent color. Uh, and it is a great scavenger hunt challenge if you're using the accent color to try to find exactly where the accent color is used. Uh, so you, but you can go ahead and set that. Where that does show up is in your change the look experience. You'll be able to see that. So here we can go through, we can preview this. And one thing you'll notice here, it's different from the brand center, I'm in a SharePoint site. This site is not designated as the home site. So in my preview here in site branding, I'm only seeing UI elements and SharePoint as my preview options. So I don't get to see that Viva Connections preview because this is not a Viva Connections connected site. So I could flip over and see how that new theme is going to apply to my SharePoint site. And I can scroll down and kind of look at it and see if I like it and if I do, I'm going to um, go ahead and name that theme. So we'll go ahead and, and name the theme. And then once I do, it shows up here into site branding. And then I simply go back into my site itself. And then when I go to change the look, that branding will be there for me to pick and apply to my site. So I can go into change the look. And then now when I go to theme, I'll have that falling leaves theme that we just created in our site branding experience to be available. And then I can apply that to my site. So really easy for site owners to now customize. They still have every option to find through the brand center for that official organization branding they have as they're creating their custom themes and font packages for their sites. They have your brand colors set up as the first options for them to pick from so that they can pick those colors to create the theme when they have those fonts to pick from when creating their font packages. But you can apply this. So you can really think about all of 
those sites where people want to have that holiday party or that special initiative and really being able to highlight that and create a theme specifically for that or being able to change them out. Also gives us a lot of fun here with the Brand Center and finally bringing the theme creation experience out of a code experience and a PowerShell install experience into a really simple to use visual experience to build that out. So we're really excited for that. And there's more coming here for site branding. As you know, you may have visited a site that you just really love the branding for and maybe you want to use that on your own site. So be looking ahead for even more coming to the brand center and into the site branding experiences as we continue to make it easier and easier for you to customize your sites and make them look beautiful. Okay, Vesa, I think that gets me. Yeah. Now, don't <laughs> don't stop sharing. Don't stop sharing. Speed I want to ask two questions yeah. uh, for the for the record. Sorry. Question number one: uh, Can we pluck the the option for people to create their own themes? That was a question in a chat, uh, so that the brands that people might be a bit in hesitant for allowing that. So, is there a switch somewhere to disable? So, there's not a switch. So, site branding. Think of this just like you're creating, you know, Word, PowerPoint, everything. Anyone can customize what they want. Now, we do encourage people if you have that. Remember, site branding is only accessible by site owners. So, making sure that you are using your permissions groups appropriately, that you're training out users as to what they should and shouldn't do. Now, a lot of people. People also include branding as a part of a site template. So you're setting that default for them so that they don't have to think about it. And many people will never even visit, change the look to make a change there or find that site branding experience. Uh, and so it's, it's really about making sure our permissions are being utilized correctly for site owners and that uh, we are sending out the proper user training for what should and should not allow uh, you to go change your branding. And then uh, one more kind of a starting question. So where did we find the Brand Central? How do we find the Brand Central uh, in a clean size, clean uh, SharePoint? What do I need to do that I can find Brand Central? Yeah, so in a, a tenant, so there's three ways that, like I said, that it can show up. If your organization was already using organization asset libraries, the site that was designated for those organization asset libraries is where your brand center will show up. And so you can easily go to that site if you've used it in the past. If you are an admin, the admin has a quick place through the Microsoft 365 Admin Center to get all of the URLs URLs for the Brand Center site as well as directly into that app. But the quickest way to know is if you've already been using organization asset libraries in your tenant, that is the site that your Brand Center is built on. Um, if you are not, we start, uh, and you may see that, have seen that in the site, but we start with the recommendation that the name of that site be Brand Guide. So if you've never used organization asset libraries before in your organization, uh, the prompted easy fill in default name that we set up, of course, it's customizable by the admin is brand guide. So you can always look for that. And we have a great brand central site template that you can apply to that site to have a great starting point for building out how you want to use your brand center site itself if you so desire. Excellent. And then kind of a just an additional note on, on, on this one. Uh, if you are building custom experiences with SPFX, we do have guidance on how to tap into the uh, custom theming and fonts and all of that within the documentation. I just put the, put the link in the chat as well for, on that guidance. But thank yes, you, Kathy. I, that was I actually believe really that wasteful. our latest message center post went out yesterday, I believe. Uh, so we are also adding in sup additional support with PowerShell and with SiteScript actions for custom fonts as well. So a lot of things happening, a lot coming through for the Brand Center and a lot more exciting things coming in the future.